You may remember Pastor Seth Capperdale when he ran for governor in New Jersey on the Green Party ticket and then a few weeks ago got himself right in the middle of the debate over illegal immigration when he offered sanctuary to some illegal undocumented immigrants in Highland Park. Well, he's back in the news again, this time saying that he is going to fight the injustice of ICE arresting people for immigration violations at the courthouse in New Brunswick. Mark Bonamo has the full story. Mark, what do you got? Reverend Seth Capperdale has talked about the fact that in places like North Brunswick, schools, churches, hospitals have been considered to be safe places for undocumented immigrants. Now, what the Reverend Capperdale wants to do is send out volunteers to protect undocumented immigrants going into places like courthouses, which he believes should also be declared safe places for undocumented immigrants. We're gonna make sure that ICE doesn't get away with that. So we have a court monitoring system. Um, we have dire volunteers who will stand in the parking lot and make sure that we record ICE as they um, carry out any tactics against people in the, in the courthouse parking lot. How do you think, and when you talk to him, how does he feel this will play into the overall debate? Is he helping or is he hurting? In terms of the overall debate, he can look to Oakland, California, where Mayor Libby Schaaf was essentially berated by ICE for warning of an immigration raid before it took place. In terms of the national discourse, I'm here in the ironbound section of Newark, full of many undocumented immigrants. It's going to be very interesting as we go forward with this debate. Okay, thank you, Mark, appreciate it. All right, let's bring back our A-plus panel for tonight. To break this down, we're joined by Tia Lynn Fritz from the New Jersey Young Republican Association. Good to have you here. Thank you for and having me. And Nusrat Kadir is back with us from the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Always good to see you. Thank you. And Peter Brown, Councilman in Linden. Peter, good to see you. Peter, I'm going to start you. with you. Uh, it seems to me that there's no way around the legal issue that there is a legal action being taken uh, taken by uh, ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, and uh, these guys are standing in the way. How do they avoid getting arrested? I mean, here's the sad part, is that you shouldn't be avoid trying to get arrested. Do you, do you have places where people can go, schools, um, churches? All right, but it seems like this list is growing further for people to avoid being arrested. Now, do we want to see families be split apart? Absolutely not. But at the same time, we shouldn't be interfering with uh, the government doing their job and workers. That's right. Do you agree with that? I mean, is this uh, is he crossing the line here? I mean, certainly it's emotional to think that someone can get arrested, be separated from their family. At the same time, ICE is not arbitrarily arresting people. These are folks that have warrants out and have committed crimes in many cases. I, I think they're not always committing crimes. They could be going just to pay parking fines. And should our courthouses be a safe place? I would like to think that they would be. To, uh, to that point, uh, is this just a clear example that the government is down on the job? They have not solved this problem of DACA. They haven't solved the problem of immigration control. And you've got private folks out there saying, we're going to do it. Well, it is an issue. However, we have to keep in mind we can't let emotion skew or blur the lines of the law. And unfortunately, our elected officials are handing down and trying to uphold our Constitution with a heavy heart. How far do you go? I mean, you're a Republican. How far does the president and the Republican Congress go? Do you arrest the mayor in Oakland? Do you arrest the pastor? And if you get to that point, uh, does that turn the side and make them victims? I wouldn't necessarily say that they're victims. Anytime somebody chooses, and they did choose to break the law, that really resides on in their hands, and it's their fault. Real quick. And I don't think this should be a de Democrat or Republican debate. Um, what people don't notice is that during Ob Ob Obama's term, people were arrested in courthouses too. So this is an issue that should be talked about and solved. And Obama deported more people than his predecessors. For whatever reason, it happened. All right, thanks, guys. Gotta leave it there.